Oh boy! Let's talk about some conditional probability. Ah yes. This is red, the probability of A given B. This line right here, when you say it, this is given. So this is A given B. Yes, we can see or calculate this as the probability of A and B divided by the probability of B. You can also use this as a test for independence. Okay, but that's not here. That's not there. That's in a different video. Ready? 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 This video is finding the conditional probability given a table. Oh boy, a two-way table, some books would call it. Yeah. Ready? 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 We're going to need our margins. Yes. We want to know the total number of things in B. This is 50. We want to know the total number of things in not B or B complement. This is 50. Haha, <laughs> 50, 50. Yes. Half in B, half not in B. Let's see what's up with A. Okay. So then, here this is 70 things in A and 30 things that are not in A. Let's check these margins real quick. Sure. Down here, 70 and 30, it's 100. 50 and 50, we've done this correct. Yes. So now what do I want to do? I want to go through and I want to calculate the probability of B given the probability of A given B. That's going to be the probability of A and B divided by the probability of B. So let's go ahead, let's go through here and do this two ways. I know, I don't want to say two ways. Well, this will give you greater insight on the cheaper and easier way. Ready? 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 Okay. So I need the probability of B given A. And here's how. We take um, the probability of A and B, that's the overlap, A and B, the overlap divided by the total. Yes. So the probability of A and B is going to be 40 out of 100 divided by the probability of B. Now here we see the probability of B mm -hmm, is all of B divided by the total number. So this is 50 over 100. This is 50 over 100. Okay, and then we know from back in algebra, some of you guys may have heard this rhyme, this hum, this hymn, dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by a reciprocal. And here we go. This is going to be 40 one hundreds. Yes, you got to flip it before you multiply. Yes, times 100 divided by 50, because I, I flipped the one on bottom, bam, and they fight, oh, and we see we're going to have 40 fiftieths, yes, which is also what, 0.8, great, ready, 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 oh no, what is he going to do, we can see these conditional probabilities in a more fundamental approach. What is this? This is the probability of A given B. So B has already occurred and we want to see the chance of A happening when B has already occurred. So what we can do is we can go through and we can restrict ourselves to only the B column because B has already occurred. We know we're here. This is the probability of A given B. So if we restrict ourselves to A given B, we see that B has 50 elements. 40 of them are A, and 10 of them are not A. Okay, so what are we looking for? We're looking for the probability of A given B. So here's 40 out of 50. Because the B has already occurred, we can write it that way. Ready, 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 40 divided by 50. So then the probability of B given A, if we go back and we take a look at this, this is A given B. I suppose we could have done B given A, but then we would have had to have switched our rows. Okay, so then B has already happened. Restrict yourself to this column. How many are A? 40. Out of how many? 50. And you know... Box and flower.
That was way easier. Let's see if we can apply this to this guy right here. This guy right here, I have A given, not B. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what does that do? That restricts our columns. That restricts our columns to not B. Mm-hmm. So this is not B. Here we are. We're in not B. Now we're going to use this column in order to find that conditional probability. So not B has already happened, right? All right. So then what is the probability of A given not B has happened? So A is 30 out of 50, which is what? 0.6? And then what? Box and flower. Studying. Ask questions. Get right.